everyone. We are going to be taking a look at this. Well, it only needs one thing fixed. And that's the uh, volume control. I did try a little bit of the WD-40 on it last night. Through the top, it's helped, but it's not perfect. So, I just want to go along and just gently prise these three knobs off. Um, I'm not sure if I actually needed to do that, but usually you do. So, turn it on its back side. Now, from what I can tell, there's screws there. So it's two, two in that corners. One right there. I have uh, remagnetized the screwdriver. It's always handy to have a magnetic screwdriver. So, I'm going to get the cover off. So all I've got to do is clean that switch. Right, the corner screws are going to be longer, so I'm going to keep those separate. That way I can hopefully remember where the screws came from. If I put the four corner screws together, yeah, we're all going to be the same length. Put that little one separate as well. There is two hidden ones, I'll show you where they are in a minute. So it might just be easy for people who haven't taken anything apart before to overlook this bit see these four screws and think, oh, they're the only screws, we'll undo those. Double check, I'm certain there aren't nothing down those ones. Under the battery compartment. And in this case we've got two, we've got one there. A very clean battery compartment in this. This one should be the last. Now, I don't know if it's going to come apart front first or back first. So, there's another long one. There's another long one. Right, so we put all the those together. Right. Do -do 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 -do. There isn't one hiding under the antenna because I've known them to hide them under there as well. So it's coming apart. Yeah, I thought so. It'll come apart that way. So. Bloody wood, wouldn't it? Um, Trying to see if there's a way I can get the hose through without having to take the cassette deck out for a little, little cubby hole. And I don't know if there is. I might just have to raise that cassette deck a little bit because my switch is right there. See, and I don't want to risk getting anything on there, so what I'm going to have to do it looks like there is only five screws holding the deck in place, so I'll take out these five screws. One in the middle here. I might get a screwdriver on it. Put these deck screws together. Theory. 
bloody tuner in the way now, but I can get under there with this now, so, so all I've got to do is just get to that switch. Soak in some WD. I might just give the other ones a little bit of a squirt as well while I'm in here. are all the same so it don't matter. I'm just going to give that a good. Well I'll tell you why it certainly moves a lot better than it did. <laughs> it was a bit stiff. Let's just do the tone as well. I'll actually get this one back on. Didn't need to take them off in the end. We're in the way. I am kind of in the way aren't I? Sorry. Let's see. What I'm going to do, just before I button it all up, I've got to squeeze past it and get to the power supply, hang on. <laughs> Should have plugged this in first, but oh well. I just want to check that the volume is okay before I start buttoning it all back up. I don't want you to leave me Oh, you said That is working perfectly now. Uh, before, before I did all this, that volume control was um, not functioning as it should have been. Has that just got sitting there? I think it's got... Yeah. This handle piece has popped off, so it's got to sit like that, right? Okay, so I'll sort the handle out in a bit. This has popped off of the tape deck. Goes back together like that. Yeah, the tape decks themselves were working perfectly fine on this. It was just dirty volume switch. So, in this very quick video, I can fix this one. <laughs> Thought I'd get the um, easier ones out of the way first, so the next one's going to be the Philco Ford radio. which is just a matter of gluing a few bits together. No crackly volume anymore. That's good. Not only was it sort of crackling, I was getting sort of um, an imbalance on the speakers as well because the volume obviously wasn't making good connection. get this handle back in place. In, job's done. I've now got a perfectly good working um, mini boom box. It is 
just gonna. I was worried that that had got threaded for a second there. Not as many screws as I thought holding this back together, to be honest. I thought that would have been more than the um, the seven, because there's a hole there, hole there, hole there, hole there, hole there. I thought they would have put screws in there as well, but no, I didn't think to look to see what they actually were. Lovely long screws, though. Right, I'm going to get the four corners in first. Don't have to, but that's the way I'm going to do it. The other two be as quick as that. She quite pleased that I've got this one now. You sort when you buy these for spares or repairs, you do take quite a gamble because they're either going to be a simple repair like this one and the Phillips and whatnot, or the Philco radio, or they're going to be a total ass of a repair, or even a lost cause. I have had a few in the past that were, to, well, to me, a lost cause, but as opposed to someone with a better knowledge and more experience than me would have uh, been able to fix it. I think for 99p for this one, I can't complain. A bit WD-40 on the volume control working system with a nice clean battery pack as well Does that tell me how many C cells I need to put in this one six Apparently nine volt yeah I do believe six times 1.5 would equal nine so Done. Put the battery cover back on. There is still a little bit of cleaning I've got to do on these doors. I did get some of it off last night, whatever had been splashed on there, but like I said, I'm not that proud. It's not bad, bad condition. Very 1980s though, isn't it? <laughs> think 1980s these were all the rage it's what everybody wanted anyway another one done so the next one on the bench is the Vil the Vilco the Filco rather not the Vilco so uh, thanks a lot for watching guys I hope you liked this video and found it interesting and uh, guess I'll talk to you all in the, in the next video bye bye